Good day everyone! This is James Ryan T. Biabe, a first-year college student at Dabo Oriental State University under the Bachelor of Secondary Education major in English. And today, I will be showing you my online demo teaching presentation. Let's start! Another day, another fun, another learning. Good morning, learners! I am James Ryan T. Biabe, but you can call me Teacher James. And I will be your teacher for today's class. So, before we start with our lesson proper, I'd like to ask everyone to please settle yourselves for our opening prayer. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Dear Lord, be with us today as we have our lesson. In Jesus' name we pray, Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Alright, how are you doing today, class? Very good. That's great to hear. So, before we dive into our topic, let's have a quick exercise first. I know that you're very familiar with this game called Four Picks, One Word. Am I right? Okay, I want anyone from the class to guess the hidden word in these four pictures. Very good, Mr. Cornelio. Thank you so much. And that's it. The hidden word is technology. But why did it become part of our introduction? It's because it has something to do with what we are going to discuss today. And it is all about the technology enhanced teaching lesson exemplars. And these are our learning objectives for today's discussion. So upon completion of this lesson, you are expected to to define technology and its importance, to create engaging and effective learning experiences through instructional technology, and lastly, to give emphasis on learning by doing through technology. But before anything else, class, I want to ask you if you have any idea or stock knowledge as to what technology truly means. Do you know what technology is and its importance? Anyone? Yes, Miss Paula. Very good. Thank you, Miss Paula. So what is technology? Technology is the product of transferring scientific knowledge to practical use. And most people use some form of technology every day of their lives. In short, technology improves our daily lives. For example, we have television, internet, cell phones, computers, audio and visual technology, solar panels, batteries, manufacturing, diagnostic vehicles, and many more. So that's the importance of technology in our lives. Now, how can we integrate technology into the context of education? To put it simply, we have this what we call a technology-enhanced learning and teaching approach. So what is technology-enhanced learning approach? It is used to describe the application of technology to teaching and learning to maximize the student learning experience. Therefore, technology plays a significant role in education, especially in learning and teaching. Also class, there are different digital skills that 21st century teachers should have and 21st century learners should know. But we will discuss five important digital skills only. First is to use video content to engage students' learning. Why? Because videos create a more engaging sensory experience than using print materials alone. Learners actually get to see and hear the concept being taught, and they can process it in the same way they process their everyday interactions. And the best Android video making and editing apps for teachers and students includes CapCut, PowerDirector, and many more. Second is to use infographics to visually stimulate students. 
Why? Because infographics often prove so effective in educational context because they use imagery to highlight, explain, or enhance text-based information. It can help students better comprehend and retain large amounts of information. And the best app for this is the Poll Tool. Third is to use social networking sites to connect with colleagues and grow professionally. Why? Because the use of social media in education helps students, teachers, and parents to get more useful information, to connect with more learning groups and other educational systems that make education convenient. And the best Android social media apps for teachers and students includes Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and many more. Next is to create and deliver a synchronous presentation and training sessions. Why? Because presentations can enhance the intellectual capacities of students. At the same time, it helps the teachers in the teaching methods and different fonts, visual effects, highlighting that can help students learn new information quicker. And the best presentation app for teachers and students includes the Prezi. Lastly, class, is to use and provide students with task management tools to organize their work and plan their learning. Why? Because task management tools help students work smarter, get more done, and experience more success. When properly applied, class, task management tools can manage and organize workloads, know what you have to do, and which items have priority. And the best task management tools application for teachers and students includes the Microsoft To Do app. And that's it! That's really all the different digital skills that 21st century teachers should have and 21st century learners should know. Now, as a review class, who can give me an example of an application that we can use for video making and editing? Yes, Miss Kimberly. Very good! Do you have any questions or clarifications, class? Alright, it seems like you all understand our lesson for today. Indeed, technology has changed the learning environment so that learning is more hands-on. Technology has a vital role in education system, especially now that we are in the crisis of pandemic. Now for your group activity, I will group you into three groups. Each group will choose at least one digital skill and you are going to act it out. Do your very best because it will serve as your assignment. As of now class, get one fourth sheet of paper and number it 1 to 5. Then enumerate the different digital skills that 21st century teachers should know and 21st century learners should have. Alright, finish or unfinished, pass your paper. Again, don't forget your assignment because it will serve as your group activity. I guess that's it for today's class. I hope you've learned a lot from our discussion. With that, let us settle ourselves for the closing prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Dear Lord, thank you for today. In Jesus' name we pray, Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Another day, another fun, another journey. Again, this is Teacher James, and thank you for today, class. Goodbye and have a great day ahead.